Welcome to the Global Symposium for Regulators 2024, GSR 24, being held here in Kampala in Uganda. And I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio by Mr. Irvin Williams, who is the CEO of the National Telecommunications Regulatory Commission of St. Kitts and Nevis. Mr. Williams, welcome to the studio. Thank you, and good afternoon. Good afternoon, and thank you for being with us. Now, I wanted to ask you, what is the significance for you of this year's uh, Global Symposium for Regulators? Well, the significance, and not just this year, but GSR overall for us, being small island developing countries, uh, small, island, small island developing states, as we call them, we are limited in resources. You know, um, agriculture, health, education, everything relies on the limited resources government have. So when, as regulator, I can lean on GSR for capacity development and for best practices, then it takes some of the strain off the resources that I have to get from government to do capacity development to regulate the ICT telecommunication sector. So GSR holds great value for us as regulators within the small island developing states, especially this one in Kampala, 2024. What are the particular challenges for you in St. Gitz and Nevis? Well, it's a lot to do with keeping up with the technologies. Legislation is always behind. And when we do go to do policy development, a lot of the times it's a gap. And when there's a gap, then legislation falls further behind. And so the consumers do not benefit fully or properly from the technologies or from the standards that should be in place for the quality of experience when they're using the technologies. And that is the greater problem we're having at home where we get a fair amount of complaints from consumers about not getting, as we would say, bang for the buck in terms of they're not getting what they're paying for. And it's because of that gap between legislating, regulating, and where the technology is. And it all comes back to our readiness to provide advice to the policy makers to implement such legislations and regulation. So GSR means a lot to our preparedness to prepare legislation to get caught up with the sector. What about emergency communications? I mean, we've heard of hurricanes, not in St. Kitts and Nevis, but nearby. What, what, uh, what, is, what is the situation with regards to that? Is it, is it difficult to, uh, uh, to prepare for that? Well, no, as a matter of fact, I just had a meeting earlier with Director Zava Zava and I thanked him greatly because St. Kitts Nevis just implemented its NATP, its National Emergency Telecommunications Plan, which was spearheaded by the ITU. And I just gave thanks to Zava Zava for that because we didn't have that in place. I was able to bring a group of 35 stakeholders from across different sectors, um, government, private banks, everybody came in and we were able to put heads together for the greater good of the country and we were able to pass the LATP. It's now up to my honorable minister to now ratify and then we will be ready to go. So in terms of preparedness, we are doing what we need to do in, in support with the ITU and so far we're on the right path. What about best practice guidelines? How useful are they to you? They're more than useful because then we don't have to reinvent the wheel, one. And then two, where there's a knowledge gap, we, re we refer to best practice guidelines to fill that void. And so we find ourselves in a state of preparedness. Like for example, now hurricane season is on. I'm not worried so much about how do we prepare because we've, we have already had discussions about the NATP, the stakeholders are aware of it. It's now approved, just needed to be ratified. So we, we have an understanding of what the ramifications are within that plan. So I can say without a doubt that the stakeholders at home, based on the understanding of what the plan is asking them to do, they have already prepared themselves to face the hurricane season. Excellent. Now, I was going to ask you, do you have a, a message that you'd like to convey to the participants here at GSR, as well as our wider audience? Well, I really want to thank um, the ITU and the government and good people of Uganda, um, especially my colleagues at UCC, they have been tremendous. It's my first time in Africa. And um, I know when I go home, being from St. Kitts Nevis in the Caribbean, and my population is only 50,000 people. 
So almost everybody knows that I'm going to Africa. So now I'm the ambassador. When I go home, the questions will be asked, how is Africa? What was it like? What were the experiences? So I, I want to say to my colleagues here in Uganda that the word will be positive. I'm going to go and say, love it. You must come. You have to see it. And the ITU has done a great job in making sure that we are comfortable, making sure that the experience is memorable. So I want to convey thanks to um, Secretary General Dorian and her entire team, including you, um, for making me feel as welcome as I can. It was worth a two-day trip then. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Well, Evan Williams, thank you so much for joining us. Very pleased to have you in the studio and very much look forward to catching up with you again very soon. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Right. And if you've enjoyed this uh, interview, then do check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel, as well as our podcasts on our podcast channels. And for further information, visit our website at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning